Hey, what's going on, Guardians? TBL here, fresh off the heels of the weekend and ready to have some fun. How you guys doing? Hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend and are ready for another great week on Destiny. I know I certainly am. Today we'll be bringing you a little bit of some Crucible action here, playing a little bit of Clash on my Hunter, uh, rocking that Paleo Contact JPK, I think 43, Legendary Auto Rifle. This is a Dead Orbit Auto Rifle that is a medium rate of fire one, and I gotta say, it's, uh, it's pretty much shot up the list of my preferred primary firearms in the Crucible. I am really starting to dig this thing. I mean, it's got great base stats, its stability makes it really easy to control, it's got high range, and uh, under the right circumstances, this thing really melts surprisingly quickly. So I've been having a lot of fun with this thing, and I'm just having a lot of fun with the Crucible in general, running around, just getting some enjoyment in it, trying to uh, bide my time until the release of Destiny's next big update the rise of iron oh man the rise of iron we are only a little more than a month away guys september 20th cannot come soon enough for me it's going to bring so much content and we've been getting a lot of in-depth looks at uh some of the stuff we're going to be getting in rise of iron <laughs> it's got the hype train fueled in me i am at the station and ready to go baby I mean, you guys who've been following the channel for the last couple of years now, you know how I feel about Destiny. It's, I, I would say it's kind of a love-hate relationship, but it's really not. I really just absolutely adore this game, so much so that I'm willing to make extremely poor decisions uh, <laughs> in order to continue playing it. And we as a channel have really been with Destiny since the beginning, through the good times of crazy crucible and cheesable raids all over the place, to the bad times of no content, you know, the great content droughts, and the poor matchmaking, and the poor balancing, oh my gosh, we've had a lot of good and bad times in Destiny. Oh, and check this out. Very poor maneuver there for me. I had pressure on the kid. I should have just kept firing on him, but instead I figured, okay, he's going to stay behind cover. This is my chance to get out of a bad situation. He did have a scout rifle there, but remember, never take your eyes off the enemy. That was a rookie mistake, and I apologize for making it. But yeah, we've been here since the beginning of Destiny, and we've had so many good well, and bad times that I still just absolutely love this game. And I definitely feel like the hype cycle is going to be starting all over again with the Rise of Iron. One month, baby. One month. Which actually kind of leads me into the topic of today's video. We are one month away from the Rise of Iron. How are you guys passing that time? Now, TBL, what do you mean by that? Well, anytime you're anticipating something, it always seems like that certain something takes forever to arrive, whether you're on the road trying to get to a destination or you're waiting for your favorite game to come out. The more you anticipate it, the longer it feels like you have to wait. And I am definitely, definitely feeling that anticipation with the Rise of Iron. We've gotten a lot of information for about the uh, upcoming DLC, especially in the last week, thanks to Game Informer. So we all know a lot more about what we're going to be dealing with. Like We got to get a very in-depth look at the new exotic Kvostov 7G0X, which by the way, looks amazing. Some of you guys made some comments on my previous Kvostov information video that I really agree with, that it's basically what the Fabian strategy should have been all this time. We got to confirm a couple of things from a brand new video from Game Informer, specifically about the Kvostov. Uh, one thing that I was worried about was actually the magazine size of the weapon. It has the same base magazine size as the normal Kvostov, so 25. And I was worried that uh, we would not be seeing a magazine size increase with uh, the changes that you can make, not only to the type of weapon it is, but the archetype of the weapon that it is. You know, with the fire rate switching from 450 uh, RPM all the way up to 900 RPM. Thankfully, that got put to rest in the Game Informer video. If you switch the gun in auto rifle mode from 450 RPM, which is a basic Soros regime archetype, then the magazine size will jump from 25 or 31 if you've got extended mags on, which everyone will. The magazine size jumps from that 31 up to 77 if you're at 900 RPM, which is fantastic. That is a massive magazine size, and it's absolutely perfect for a high rate of fire auto rifle. So that definitely got put to rest. Nothing to worry about there. But yeah, in addition to that, we've also got some 
Very much anticipated exotics coming our way, including some ones that we have been waiting for for a very long time. Some of the exotics we were supposed to be getting in the Taken King. Warlocks will finally be getting their exotic boots. We're going to be getting Shinobu's Vow. Uh, we're probably going to be seeing something, well at least I'm hoping we're going to be seeing something more, of that Void and Solar Thunderlord archetype of uh, machine gun that we got a little bit of a glimpse at way back in the uh, Taken King trailers. Yeah, remember those? How we never got to see anything else of them ever again? I'm still a little little bit sad about that. But anyways, so like I said, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to. And I'm really, really excited for The Taken King, and I almost don't know how to spend my time until the release. One month away, September 20th. So, me personally, I'm just trying to take my mind off of it as much as possible and focus on other things. I've been playing a lot of other games as of late. As you guys know, especially if you've been following me on uh, Twitch and YouTube, I have been playing an awful lot of Final Fantasy XIV. That's right, I'm <laughs> right back into Eorzea, baby. We are right back into the world of MMOs, and I've got to say, I'm really, really enjoying my time on it. I got back to leveling my Dark Knight, a couple more classes, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what what big DPS class I want to level up next. I've already got a fully leveled Black Mage. I need to get on something else. I think I might want to do Dragoon, but for the time being, I'm focusing on Dark Knight, running some dungeons, doing some instances, thinking about getting into a couple of raids, and uh, I'm looking to stream a little bit of it. We've had a couple of Final Fantasy XIV streams here, and I definitely want to hold more. It's the game that I've easily been playing the most over the past couple of days. And you guys already know, I got the boys on it, Gen X 100, Black Fox, my buddy Nate, and we're really just enjoying ourselves on there. Also been thinking about going back and playing a little bit more of some uh, Black Ops 3. I haven't played Black Ops 3 in like a month and a half now. It's been a very long time. I've been focusing more on, uh, on, on Destiny and some older COD games when it comes to first person shooters, which... You know, isn't a bad thing, really, having a lot of fun with stuff like Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. But really, all of these games are basically meant to take my mind off of the wait for Rise of Iron. And that, again, is the question I want to turn to you guys. How are you dealing with the wait for Destiny's new content? Are you excited for Rise of Iron? Are you playing some other games to take your mind off the wait? Do you have some other games coming up within the next couple of months that uh, are you, you're super excited for? I know we've got Final Fantasy XV coming out super soon. Also, No Man's Sky, which is a game that I am intensely afraid of. I might have to make a separate video for that, but that's coming out later this month. But again, my question to you guys is how do you deal with the wait for this brand new Destiny content? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I'm getting antsy over here like I'm waiting for my fix. Getting hot and cold and... Ugh, Destiny does these things to me. But alright guys, it's gotta be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. We did wind up going 19 and 14, which is not too bad at all if I do say so myself. Even got ourselves a little bit of a split shifter pro. Not bad. But that's gotta be it for this one guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty. I gotta get back to distracting myself somehow.